Needs a treble. One hundred. Great last dart. Now John Ford. Can he be the party pooper? One hundred and two he wants. Ball. No. Top. Double top. Game. Great check out for John Ford. One hundred and two. Van Bloemenveld can only smile and think, well, not my moment. John Ford thinks what could have been. It just wasn't enough in the end. And Van Bloemenveld just strokes his shoulder. Five four to John Ford. You know, he's, you know, Phil's saying, you know, this is, this is, look. And he's saying, leave me alone. Barney touched his face, didn't he? Barney, Barney looks confused, though, about what, what's gone on. Yeah, I mean, what, what Barney's thinking, whatever's has gone on has gone on, and Phil's gone. You know, perhaps what you've said, you can only see what you, you're thinking or what they're thinking, and uh, Phil's gone. You know, you said a few things, I didn't like that, I've never said it about you, perhaps, and that's the way it is, you know. Like I said, it's, uh, there's a lot of emotion, there's a lot of adrenaline going on when you've just come off a match like that. And Barney's gone, well, you know, that's the way it is, we'll sort it out another time. It's, uh... For double ten for England. 46. Even the man that has won everything Australia, has crumbled 20. under the pressure. They were not good darts at all. It's all too much, you can tell by the, the players' faces. Nicholson and Taylor have blown their chances. Can Whitlock take his? Double five, he can't come inside. He has come inside. No score. Well, three of them have had a go, Wayne. And perhaps fittingly enough, it's the world champion himself. The man who's hit two doubles to win world championships, who gets the chance now. Well, Adrian Lewis has looked the most nervous man up there. He is the one. He goes to his knees. They are celebrating. England are World Cup winners. You've got to feel for the Australians. They had the darts in their hands to win it. They couldn't convert. England win the World Cup. Every single player on that stage had a chance to win the World Cup for their country. But in the end, it was the world champion himself who held his nerve, who hit double five, and England have won the World Cup here in Germany. It's England who defeat the old enemy Australia to win the 2012 World Cup of Darts. 17 world championships individually between them for Phil Taylor and Amy Lewis, but now the World Cup. And look what it means to Nicholson. Nicholson disconsolate, inconsolable, inconsolable, Paul Nicholson. England win the World Cup. Here's our MC, John McDonald. Oh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's been an amazing tournament, and I'm sure you'll agree, a thrilling final. And now it's time for the presentation, and would you please welcome, on behalf of our title sponsors, Cash Converters, the marketing director, Richard Lindsay, and on behalf of the PDC Europe, the chairman, Werner von Mocke. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the runners-up to receive the silver medal and £10,000 each, and that goes to Team Australia. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the winners receiving their gold medals. £20,000 in cash. The magnificent trophy. But most important of all, the title of Cash Converters World Cup of Darts Champions, Team England! Adrian Lewis and Phil Taylor.
What drama, what drama. Kansloos voorbij. Dubbel 10. Magnus Karis, pokerface. Dubbel 5. Daar heeft hij nog één kans op. En hij gooit hem aan de binnenkant. Ja. ja. Hij laat even zijn pokerface vallen. En nog een ja, het publiek... heftig gebaar erachteraan. Ja, het publiek krijgt op deze manier wel wat het wil natuurlijk. De hele partij is het eigenlijk stil geweest. Alleen op het moment dat Karis voor de wedstrijd gooit, beginnen ze te joelen en te jouwen. Het hoort niet thuis op dit podium, maar je moet er ook mee leren omgaan. Ja, het gebeurt altijd wel een keer. En het publiek heeft in ieder geval wat het wil. The shark is struggling in shallow waters. It's a great comeback by Valga, but it's been a disappearing act from Colin Lloyd, hasn't it? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Well, Lloyd is in danger of absolutely imploding up there. You well, cannot do that, John. No. No matter how frustrated you are, you cannot do that. And he must know that. But that just shows... Well, I don't think I've ever seen that. Ik vind het enorm lastig om te voorspellen wie als winnaar uit deze strijd komt. Kijk eens. Ja. Ja, nu kun je wachten op uh, dat het van kwaad tot erger wordt. Hij liet zich echt even gaan hier. De kans om de wedstrijd te pakken. 18 gegooid. Twee kansen op dubbel 16. Justin Pipe. De dart trilt opnieuw. En ook die derde weer. Gaat hij niet in. Boos. Boos. Op iemand in het publiek. Of iemand dun. En dan gaat Webster nu ook zijn eerste match daar krijgen. Op tops. Dat is zijn favoriet. Kan het spannender? Oh, nee, het kan niet spannender, maar ook aan zo'n spannende partij komt op een gegeven moment een eind. Mark Webster, ja, die is het met Pipe eens. Die staan er allebei zo bij van, we gaan zo meteen eens even iemand opzoeken daar. Ja, het is een kooivechter geweest, uh, Justin Pipe, dus ik zou nu maar zorgen dat je weg bent dan. Oh, dat is uh, nuttige informatie. Nou, Pipe heeft dus uiteindelijk, hij is echt ziedend hoor. Hij heeft verloren met 8 tegen 7, maar zijn kans op een kwartfinale plaats. Failure required 40. There'll be three sleepless semi-finalists, but not match. him. Phil Taylor. Oh, almost impossible to put the words. 6 180s and 106 average. A victory against the number two seed. Now it's double eight, double four. Twos never lose. They do oh, pass this, this time. Well, is it a repeat Tenure performance from the previous leg? Hunky needed a hundred last time. It's 130. Needs a trouble for the ball. Well, he's not hit it. 100. Well, surely this really is last two. opportunity in this particular leg for Scott Waits. Madhouse. And again, he misses. Oh. He's got four doubles out of 23 attempts, and that is what's hurting him. Down for seven for double four. Well, he's gone for double six to the right. Well, that was a big, big opportunity for Hanky there. These two are not covering themselves with glory. Pressure. Double one again. Missed by a way. He's feeling the Getting pressure. Nearer. Feeling the pressure. Feeling the pressure. Ted required 12. So Ted Hanky. Double six. Nerves are jangling. He turns away at noise from the crowd. Thank you. Asks for the master ceremonies to keep the noise down, the crowd reacts.
and he gets the double he wants and turns around and shouts angrily to the crowd lip readers you can work out what that's all about he's saying i don't need that shut up and he said a bit more as well well it looked like to me he was ordering a kebab from the back room well he's won he's made the cardinal sin going to the crowd he's going to absolutely get it 10 times worse in the next leg Henky in the tweede set vindt het ritme langzaam terug. Hier 180 en de eerste keer dat hij contact gaat maken met het publiek. Het publiek dat een grote rol in de... Dit is dan wat Henky doet. Dit met een 1, dan een triple 1 en dan... Ja, dit zijn dingen die we eerder van Henky gezien hebben. Dat is niet de juiste manier van reageren natuurlijk. Maar wel begrijpelijk. Het is een belangrijke leg in de wedstrijd, want het is een leg die Henky is begonnen. Henky, had bijna het podium af, is... Wie is de triple 13? Dan triple 17 voor dubbel 8. Of een enkele 17, dat wordt het voor Bullseye. Henky! Oh, ja, 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 denk ik. Dat is zeer knap. En natuurlijk zoekt hij dan weer het publiek op. En Moeders heeft ook nog wat erover te zeggen. Heel makkelijk naar Henkie. 1 en dubbel 12, 2 1 voor. En dan moet die West het beste lijf gaan redden. En altijd maar dat contact met het publiek. Het publiek dat vooral het op Henkie gemunt had. Hij wijst ook die richting op. Dat is de triple 10. En dat is de dubbel 18. Ja, het is knap dat Henky zei ja. Waar is dat boek op nu? Henky. En ook Henky laten zien dat hij best wel in vorm is dit toernooi. Dat liet hij eerder natuurlijk ook al zien. Nadat hij Ted Henky heeft gebroken in de vorige lek. Met een elfdarter. Kijk, hier gaat Henky dus in op het publiek. Dat heel vervelend bezig was tegen Henky. Maar er moet wel bijgezet worden dat Henky zich daar vooral aan ging ergeren op het moment dat hij 2-0 in sets achter stond. Het gebeurde in de eerste wedstrijd ook al. En dan reageert Henky zoals Henky dat altijd doet. Hij gooit de darts naar het bord zonder ze te mikken. En dan is dit de reactie van Ted Henky. Daar reageert het publiek dan nog veel meer op. Dan gaan er nog wat geld worden richting de zaal. Ted Henky op Lakeside 2008. Hij krijgt een reprimande van de scheidsrechter. Ja, dat klopt. Hij mag natuurlijk niet op het uh, dakbord slaan. In een partij. Nou, Henky is het er daar uiteraard niet mee eens. Zo, so another trouble 19. Oh. Hang on. Can you uh, please not call out while the players are on the hockey? Thank you. It's unusual. Only takes one. Come on back to it, Ted. Yes. Double 12. Oh, he pushed the wire. Oh, oh, for the set, how close was Henke? Not happy. Yes, it's there. The Anke table are off. Ted Anke goes in the lead. Two on his set. He's having his problems. He's not completely happy. And look. Double nine. It's there. Double nine. 27. Raymond, you require 10. It happens. Well, that's a double five she's hoping for. This is why Sylvia looks on. Double five. Well, uh, it seems to be a distraction there, maybe the photographers. Well, we're looking now, we'll get back to the game for double two. Eight. Well, I've never understood why... Uh... Brian, you require nine. <laughs> I've never understood why photographers take a shot of you while you're uh, at a double, because you can't get that aspect of the shot anyway. I mean, one shot's as good as another from that angle. Yeah, but they're doing a golf, now they're starting at darts. Double four. Yes, yes it's there. First leg. Brian Sorensen. Could I please ask the cameraman if you're taking pictures while the players are throwing, please do not move around. Thank you. Oh. 
Carlsen en Tenaas dubbel 4. En die gooit hij erin en zo plaat Justin Poit zich voor het eerst in zijn carrière voor de kwartfinale van de World Grand Prix. Hij wint met 3-2 in sets van Kevin Peter. to look at Adrian Lewis. Well, 17, got to keep his composure. Tops he wants. Falsito! Who's he require eight? If there are my games going on up there, Peter Manley is winning hands down. He's winning on the scoreboard as well. Well, a lot of people in the crowd thought that was in, and Manley himself did. Uh, now, whether that's gamesmanship or whether he genuinely thought it was in, it is right on the wire, and from where he's standing, it might well have looked in, in all fairness. It wasn't, and now Lewis has a chance of getting top gets it, breaks the throw, and now he's throwing for the set. Well, Kimberley was happy. Adrian Lewis having a word with Russ Bray. Peter Manley refusing to make eye contact. The referee, Russ Bray, is uh, having his work cut out on the stage. The best of order, please. Words certainly being exchanged. He's the master of the mind games, Peter Manley. A word said there. Lewis has turned around, and now Lewis is uh, walking off. Well, he's just walking off. Is back on the stage, no eye contact. The players have completely ignored each other. Lewis is looking out to his family, looking okay. for some sort of support. Uh, they put him off. What did you make of it? Yeah, I mean, at the time, I mean, he'd already thrown the dart before he said something to to Adrian, but it looked like if you look the way he reached on that, it looked like it affected his throw. And, and he, he actually said, what Adrian was saying, I could hear your darts clicking together. Which, to, to, to be honest, uh, I've, I've never known AD do that. He's not a, there's a few players that do it. Um, but I think a lot of it, it, Richie should really have been in the match, and it was frustration, and, you know, they had their handbags and moved on, you know. And to be honest, he inspired Adrian in that last leg, and he, he, he played well the last couple of legs, but yeah. Richie wasn't having none of it. You know, a lot of it's probably frustration. I mean, to actually...